everybody. Today we are going to be making chalk art. And you're wondering how. It's just chalk, right? But no, you can actually make chalk paint. You can actually even make it into ice cubes and do it as paint. So today I'm going to do it those two ways and we're going to see how it turns out. Okay, so these are the items you're going to be needing. An ice cube tray, a muffin tin, some Ziploc bags or any kind of bags you have, a mallet or hammer. If you have a grater, you can use that, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Popsicle sticks and of course the ch sidewalk chalk or any chalk that you have available. It can be broken, doesn't matter. So let's get to making it. Okay, so your first step is you're gonna take your chalk and you're gonna get the same color. So I'm gonna do green. I'm gonna take one other green and I'm gonna put it in a Ziploc bag. And then this part, you can also grate it with a grater, but I think it'd be more fun to smash it with the grater, with the mallet and, and or hammer. After you get done with the mallet and pounding it, I recommend going outside with it, you're gonna take it and pour it in some water. It doesn't matter how much. It could be a lot, little bit, a lot. I'm just gonna pour it in there. And it will get messy, especially with children and toddlers. And I've heard you can also use this for finger paint. Perfectly fine. So I'm gonna take a popsicle stick and just kind of swish it around. And then once it gets it to a good consistency, kind of like a batter, I'm gonna pour it into the mold of the ice tray. You can make them little, you can make them big, just doesn't matter how If there's clumps, that's fine. And then, once we pretty much have all of them out, you're gonna take some popsicle sticks Put it in the middle. If it lays, it's fine. I'm just gonna do this. Put it this way. And then we're gonna put them in the freezer. Okay, so while the other one is freezing, we're going to make just paint. So what you're gonna need is the chalk, a muffin tin, and a grater. And again, if you don't have a grater, you can use a mallet or a hammer, but this time I'm gonna use the grater. And then also you might need some water in a cup. Now that we've grated our chalk, we are going to add a little bit of water into it to make like a paste, like a pancake paste. So this is, don't add too much. So I'm just gonna add a little bit at a time to each of the chalks, and then I'm gonna stir it up. And then I might add some more while I'm stirring, but not too, too much. You want more chalk than water. So that looks good with this one. And then we're gonna get some more of this. is going to look like pancake batter. Okay, and then the last one. And it's okay if it mixes with the other colors. And so there we have our three paints. And you can use a paintbrush 
or your fingers and go outside and paint. But I'm gonna let it sit because I think that's what the directions called for, to let it sit a little bit. And we're gonna check on our frozen one. So I left these overnight and these are our popsicle chalk sticks. Okay, so now we're gonna test out our paint and see how well it works. So I'm just gonna do a happy face. Oh, this is very pretty. You can add more water if you want to. If you need to, that is. I hope y'all enjoyed this craft. Please share what you liked. If you did this craft, if you added cornstarch, or if you didn't, uh, share your pictures of all your chalk art. And I hope to see y'all next time. Bye.